Okay, so I, I know I made like that whole joke thing about um, uh, letting you girls take over the show, uh, but I'm not gonna let that um, happen, so. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, that was a twist. <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, date women. Oh, it's about time I got rid of that guy. <laughs> oh, you got a little blood on your face oh, there. Oh, shit. <laughs> start off can you guys introduce yourselves i'm siren psycho and i'm a bomb and i'm uh, bobby i'm tabitha nice <laughs> to meet you guys hi and uh we're from lady rage i wanted to say i follow you guys online because you're cool and i do that and i wanted to say your live gig was awesome how does it feel to be playing live shows again good oh, it's good yeah it's really, really nice. good really needed that after how many have you guys done so far? Just, just one so far. Just one. Like, since lockdown. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit worried though, because I didn't know if I'd remember everything or not. Yeah. <laughs> like coming back into practice after having a year of not picking up my guitar, because you know, why would I want to practice? <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, okay, let's remember the songs that we wrote. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite venue that you play at? I really like playing at the Unicorn. We've played there a couple of times. It's in Camden yeah. and okay. it's it's got a really, really good vibe to it. And we've always had some pretty good gigs there. Like um we played there New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah. And so that was really fun to bring in New Year's Eve with a oh, game. Yeah, that yeah, was actually yeah. what led into 2020. And at that gig, we were like, this is going to be the best year yet for Lady Rage. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm wrong. laughs> I think a lot of people said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, weird. Someone said to me, um, like last year, like towards the end of it, they said, you know how fucked up COVID has been and the fact that we all forgot Easter? And I was like, yeah. oh my God, like Easter, <laughs> when did that happen? It was like... First Christmas was fucking, I mean, I hate Christmas anyway, but it was like... <laughs> <laughs> <fucking worse>. like <laughs> what inspired each of you to start playing music or writing music in the first place? Uh, basically, when I was at school, I was five years old and they had they said do you want they offered guitar lessons and I went yes and um yeah it kind of just went from there <laughs> <laughs> um yeah my original guitar teacher he taught us like the basic chords but he was a very very um somber man shall we say and he was always like playing all these really old songs that no one really knew and it was like it was rebellious kind of five-year-old being like I want to play this I want to play the Spice Girls because it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. So once I stopped having lessons with him, I um, carried on anyway and played songs I actually liked. <laughs> yeah. Went from there. <laughs> um, I think I didn't. You're you're very young. I didn't start that young getting into music. Um, probably like when I was about thirteen or fourteen. Um. My dad owned a few bars um, in my hometown and he always used to play like alternative rock music. Um, actually, I used to go in there when I was like really young, like eight years old and be like, oh my God, what the fuck? It's really loud music. But then a few years later, I uh, started appreciating it and uh, it was like a really heavy influence on uh, me with music. And uh, I started learning guitar first. Um, and my first couple of bands, I played guitar and sang. But then uh, my next band, the singer left and we couldn't find a singer. So I kind of had to do it. And then uh, I started just singing and left the guitar behind. How long has Lady Rage been a band for? Two years. Two years now. Three? Is it two? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 2019. Oh yeah, yeah. We did. We had a year where things seemed to be getting great for us, and then COVID hit. And yeah, yeah right. That <laughs> <laughs> is that when you guys started your live Facebook show when COVID hit, just to keep up with. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Because um, we obviously you're not allowed to practice. We don't live near each other. We weren't allowed to see each other anyway. And it was kind of we wanted to do something that we knew would a just kind of keep us on the radar a little bit but also because there's like we were really bored and we yeah. missed people and yeah. just acting and stuff so we were like i know <laughs> let's do this yeah um because you know another option that we thought of was uh streaming like uh computer games and stuff but then we realized that was just too complicated and... <laughs> oh the twitch streaming <laughs> yeah we thought about going into twitch streaming you know we could be like you know the really cute cam girls kind of you know, oh yes yeah you know, like <laughs> <laughs> Like, like Belle Delphine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we were considering setting up an OnlyFans for this one, you know, just pimp her out a little bit, but... I do have an OnlyFans. No! But I gave up on it. Oh. <laughs> I do have an account, man. <laughs> Amazing. I only had one fan, so I was like... <laughs> <Aww. laughs> well, I think, yeah, my self-esteem wouldn't handle if I tried to set up an OnlyFans and didn't get any. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's no! why I stopped. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you guys have, a, like, an embarrassing moment you've had on stage? <laughs> Many. <laughs> um, you go first. Uh, I have really had an embarrassing moment. Um, there was uh in my old, old, which band was it? My <laughs> band called Charlie Uniform November Tango. It was like a noise core band. Um, we were playing my hometown it was like a like a club venue so it wasn't really used to like heavy bands and um so we're playing the gig and I start like climbing up this wall which was like attached to this balcony so my idea was to get to the top of the balcony and then sing from there but this fucking bouncer um was at the top of the balcony and as I was like climbing over he just like fucking pulled me off the balcony and threw me over his shoulder and just like ejected me out of <laughs> Halfway through the gig, <laughs> back in to get my stuff, and I was just like, and my band was on stage, like, is she coming back? Like, What's going on? That was pretty oh, embarrassing, aggravating. That's funny. Oh, cool though. That's really like punk rock and roll. That is. <laughs> you got ejected from your own show. <laughs> like, yeah. That's cool. Getting kicked out of your own gig. Like all of my embarrassing moments are when I've tried to do something cool and it backfired horribly which is why you know it just it, it, like there was one gig I played where there was it was in this old converted barn it was in um this old London venue called the 12 bar which sadly no longer exists oh I but, love that place. yeah it's so good um but the actual uh stage area was in this converted barn and um when you were on the stage getting on the stage there was this beam like old wooden rafter beam and towards the end of the set I'm playing and I think I'm gonna climb on that I was like, it's gonna be really cool. And I've got visions of me on this beam holding my face. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets to the moment, I'm like, right, I'm gonna do it. So I pull my base off, I chuck it at someone and just like, hold this. And I take a running jump at the, bar, at the beam, throw myself over it, 
And then I realized I don't have the upper body strength to pull myself up and my skirt is too tight for me to swing my leg over. <laughs> so I'm kind of just like really awkwardly hanging there. Like, <laughs> 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 And um, to make it even worse, <laughs> once I managed to like shuffle down, I tried again. Oh my god! <laughs> First, you don't succeed. Don't do it again. <laughs> and again, I got stuck. <laughs> Photos of me just like really awkwardly like hanging <laughs> over the screen. I'm like, I am so cool. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it was also in the gig that we just played. Um, you were being all awesome, jumping up on things like walking on the bar and jumping on the ants, and I was like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show. I can be just as cool. And so I jumped onto the bar. And then the song started, and I realised I didn't have time to stand up, so I was just sitting there cross-legged. I what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like putting that cross-legged and being like, this is not cool! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But then you got up and went around the, the crowd bit, and it was fine. Yeah, I, I, I played it off. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed you got a, a lot of tattoos, which I love. Do you have, like, a favourite one, or? Those are awesome. <laughs> Probably like my sleeve or my back. It's really cool. Well, wow. you've done you some of your own ones as well, haven't you? Yeah, but they're shit. I don't know. I think it's cool. You've got she's got a lady rage tattoo. I do. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. your leg out. Yeah. Where is it? There. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So your guys' song "Social Circus" I was reading online is about social media and how it's a bit of a problem across the masses. So you guys are super savvy on social media. And I know that you won't agree with me because of your te technical difficulties on your live show, but you are, you are savvy with it. And your talk show is literally the only one that I watch. And I mean, I took social media and advertising in school. I can't watch anything. I don't even watch this show that we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to say, first of all, submit that. I, have, <laughs> I have the attention span of a gerbil. And I was wondering, do you find that your consistent keeping up with your social online presence actually boosts your music career and your reputation? Like, I think it does. Yeah. Um, I think it's Im unfortunately important to keep up a um, social media presence. Mm. But I think um, it's also a lot to do with luck, I think, as well. And like... It's also like almost defeating the algorithm and making sure that your post just breaks through and gets to enough people. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Our last one's done pretty well. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. what you have is you have a post and you're like, this is going to be awesome. And it gets like three likes. And then you post something really stupid, like, here's my cat and mm. a billion likes. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the actual cool thing. Yeah. So, how many bands have you guys actually been in like prior to Lady Rage? I think I've been in about maybe four, maybe five, I think. Seven, I think. Seven. I managed to get one, so I'm going to say seven. What's your guys' favourite genre to play? I like playing stuff that's not classical. So yeah. <laughs> Packer Bell's Cannon. That's the best one. <laughs> R&B ballad. <laughs> no, <laughs> Cow Punk. Oh, yeah, cow cow punk. punk, which is a real genre. <laughs> which cow I think punk? that's... Yeah, cowpunk. It's a real thing. And that is if that doesn't make the world a more amazing place for you, then I don't know what does. But <laughs> what is yeah. cow what is cowpunk? Apparently it's like country meets punk. Oh, oh. yeah, but it's just like cowpunk. It's a thing. <laughs> so what musician, living or dead, would you want to hang out with? Danny Thunders. Danny Sex Bang. <laughs> <laughs> think about that you guys were on it yeah like, like, no yeah <laughs> we talk about it on the show is lady rage an independent band or are you guys signed with anyone sony and uh, universal uh <laughs> highly interested at the minute yeah yeah all of all what? of the um i can't think of any of the other big ones no we're um, yeah we're, we're very independent yes <laughs> fiercely independent <laughs> that's awesome you guys do really well for being an independent band like we're trying yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, if, if there's any major labels out there who want to sign us and give us lots of money, then please, yes. We'll take it. <laughs> Done. So do you guys have uh, other jobs or just full-time band? No, not at the minute. No, but it will. One day we will be rich and famous. And it'll be awesome. We will try to help with that. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>
I day my day job is I've been an office temp for years, so it's kind of just like jumping around from office to office. It's yeah, it's it's admin work. <laughs> it's not exciting at all, but I like it. You know. Yeah, I did that for a long time. I'm a video editor and graphic designer, which I do freelance, but it's kind of like that's a cool job like how do you find work do you stick with bands you know and like do logos for bands and music videos specifically or do you try to branch out I'm curious because I just got out of college and I'm starting a graphic design video editing company and oh good luck yeah good luck she's my, client. She's my only client it's all about advertising and just yeah. getting your name out there yeah like you're gonna say I do all the lady yeah. stuff but um so we get people who say, oh, we really like the way that it's been edited. And it's like, aha, well, <laughs> well, I know somebody. I, we, can, <laughs> we can set you up with the person. Yeah, it is actually also really lucky that we do have a graphics designer and video editor in the band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The Social Circus video, did you film, edit and do all of it inside yep. the band? Yeah. I mean, I didn't film it. So this was yeah. in front of the camera, but I did. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, boyfriend actually filmed it yeah. and uh, my boyfriend was on site as well, just again helping out with, yeah. It was actually, yeah, our, our crew was um, our boyfriends and one of my boyfriend's mates. Yeah. <laughs> that was the crew for the day and yeah, we set everything up ourselves. We like, we did, we baked all the cakes. Um, fun little fact for you, the ice cream that you see us chucking around is actually mashed potato. Oh really? Is it? <laughs> mashed potato with food dye in it. So, um, yeah, oh, that was it was horrible. We need this knowledge. Yeah. It looked yeah. like ice cream. <laughs> mashed potato. But, um, yeah, like uh, Siren baked this amazing cake. And um, there's one bit where you, like, I, I can't remember where it is in the video exactly, but it's like everyone's throwing the food and then there's just me in the background eating handfuls of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Good cake. Yeah. <laughs> can't go to waste and be thrown at people. It has to be eaten. <laughs> but yeah we had a massive food fight in the middle of a field and then afterwards we cleaned up after ourselves because you know it's a public place and we're not going to just like leave broken plates and everything yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was a mess it was a mess so we were just like we'll, we'll quickly clean it all up and then we took everything home with us and yeah that was it it was a nice day <laughs> it was thank god the weather was yeah. nice and plus the field was really like hit and miss because i was like I found a field and then it was literally the day <laughs> yeah. of the recording I was like driving around trying to find this field and I found it. <laughs> you, lied. Yeah. you lied to us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> I find fields, I knew there would be one, like somewhere. <laughs> I didn't even know this. <laughs> the lies. <laughs> so how did you guys come up with the name Lady Rage? <laughs> we put name. We all came up with our own names and then put them in a hat and then uh, picked them out. What did we do? We kind of we picked them out. We read them out and we were just like, we like this, on we like this, and voted on the best name. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I put different words into a hat to begin with and then picked out different combinations. Yeah, and then put those into the different yeah. names we all had. Oh, and, it's like a perfect uh, name for like a punk band. Like it's awesome. <laughs> But yeah, we when we pulled out Lady Rage, it all just made us burst out laughing, and we were just like, "Yes, that's yeah. the one," because it sounds uh -huh. like a euphemism for period. That was mine. Yeah. Yeah. That was my one. <laughs> Where do you see or hope to see the future of underground punk music going, or the punk scene going? People will always find ways, even when everything seems to be going against it. People will always find ways for underground punk gigs. Like I played. I I filled in on bass for one band a couple of years ago and it was all done in this very undercover DIY setup because they they advertised it all around Camden and you had to buy a ticket and then you'd get told the location and Ooh. the location was actually in a derelict flat above the guitarist's oh, actual flat it was this just the top flat was just it'd been completely gutted out so what they'd done is they had put extension cables up out through the window into this top flat so that you know there was actually electricity they'd hooked some speakers up they'd brought tables up put fairy lights everywhere and um yeah it was this really proper amazing diy like punk That's gig awesome. in a derelict flat in camden That's pretty cool <laughs> It was, yeah, so I always think that, that that kind of thing is always going to happen. What commonly inspires you to pick up and write a song? Is it something you see or is there a 
reoccurring theme to your music? You write all the lyrics and um, I, yeah. I'm i kind of come up with the music. Um, so it's, yeah, it's like, it depends what mood I'm in that day. Like if I'm really pissed off at someone, then out just comes angry chords. Yeah. Um, no, it's generally, I'm pissed off about something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Probably why it sounds so angry. Plus, like my yeah. vocals are pretty, yeah, angry. So that's the best way to make music. Well, it sounds angry, but if you look at the lyrics, they're actually really happy. They're actually really not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rainbows. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires your lyrics? Where do they come from? Issues that are going on in the world. In my mm-hmm. head. Um, I don't know. Just everything, really. I mean, I normally write about more kind of dark stuff than happy stuff. Okay, well, I'm sure you might have watched some of her episodes, hopefully. But I don't know if you know, it's like, when I have my daughter, she'll ask some questions in the show. So it's time for Emma's questions. Uh, Emma's question gonna make you feel all right. Emma's question is gonna shit so right. What's your favorite movie? Ooh. <laughs> uh, mine's Natural Born Killers and Spun. She's, she's probably seen that one. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that movie too. That's awesome. <laughs> mine is probably Beauty and the Beast, the original cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, because you know there's all the remakes now, mm-hmm. um, and also probably Practical Magic. Ooh. Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. I, I love that Sandra Bullock. Bullock. <laughs> like, like, seriously, if there's a Sandra Bullock movie, I'm just like, where, where? Let me watch it. <laughs> and Nicole Kidman, right? Yes, her pictures and that house yeah. is incredible. And yeah. I loved it. If you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. <laughs> it's got to be pizza. Pizza, hands down. Um, are we with this? Are we allowed to have like different pizza toppings, or is it got to be the same pizza every single time? You can have different toppings. Okay, good. Because <laughs> you can have a breakfast pizza, supper yeah. pizza. There's all sorts of pizzas you can make. Exactly. Pizza is it's one of the, and also like you can get pineapple pizza. So you know, then you get some fruit in there, or yeah. you've got vegetarian pizza. So you're getting your vegetables there. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting your dairy. It's pizza is just an incredible creation. It is. I'm going with that as well. Yeah. I lose it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be pizza. <laughs> What's your favorite moment as a child? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting deep here. It is. <laughs> I mean, I guess, um, like, when I think about my most memorable childhood memory, for me, it's just I remember um, being at a disco and they played Wannabe by the Spice Girls and it was like this just before they came out. And I remember hearing it and thinking, this is incredible. And then they played (laughs) it twice. And yeah, so, like, that's obviously really stuck with me. And I've mentioned the Spice Girls twice now, so clearly, apparently, they're more than I think. Okay, I've got one that sticks out. Um, when I was in Italy, uh, we were on this like lake. My friends had like this speedboat. Uh, it was called like Lake Garda in uh, Verona, I think it is. And I just remember like being on this speedboat and like the dad that we were with, my mum's friend's husband, he was like driving it really, really fast. And I was like, actually, really loving it. Yay! <laughs> it was about like eight or nine. That's my first memory. We had to dig deep. <laughs> okay if you were a superhero what would you be and what are your powers ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> See, i love this kind of the game because um me and my boyfriend what we often play is a game where it's like um you get a superpower and then you have to ruin it so it's like for example oh, no. like i have the ability to be invisible but my clothes don't turn invisible when it go when i do <laughs> Like it's just ways to like get a really awesome power and then just completely ruin it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Then, yeah, I if I could fly, but you can only fly as fast as you can walk. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I'd probably be hindsight lady, well, Captain Hindsight. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like that would have worked. 
I reckon uh, some kind of mind control so I could control the masses and uh, <laughs> control people. Yeah. Do what I want. Like, bye, Lady Rage yeah. Star. Yeah. Yeah. What sitcom would you choose to live in if you had no choice? Ooh. But if you had no choice, how could you choose to live in it? I, I don't know. Oh, could I go for Loki? Like, I don't know if that's a sitcom. That's <laughs> a sitcom. Is it? Is it? Can it's it be? Sitcom. Can it's it be? I want to just, I want to hang out with Tom Hiddleston. He's lovely. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, I would go for Hannah Montana. Oh. Wow. Why? Let's say that's it. Um, <laughs> any kind of Disney show like that, it's always, there's like a drama of the day, but by the end of it, everyone's fine and they've learned a lesson by the end of the day and everyone as well just dresses <laughs> and makes them. Are you a huge Disney fan? Yeah, what gave it away? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I do the cartoon then? Is that yeah? yeah. Do it. Um, well, it's not on anymore. Does that count? Don't do that. Hannah Montana's not on anymore. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Bojack Horseman. Now, would you be a person or an animal in this show? Well, if I wanted to be compatible with Bojack, I'd have to be a horse. So I'd be a pony. I can see he's a little Shetland pony. Yeah. <laughs> a little Maine. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first concert you guys ever went to? The Offspring. Five. Offspring. Uh, <laughs> well, if we're, are we talking like ever or like rock concert? Ever. ever. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, mine was definitely five. Um, have you heard of them? No. Nope. Nope. They were a <laughs> British boy band. Ooh. Oh. Um, I can't. Mine is more embarrassing, but I can't remember the name of the band. But it was like a pop, poppy band. Was it Steps or something? No, it was. It was after that. Like it was someone like Steps. Mine was Dolly Parton. Dolly alive. Dolly would just be uh, ah. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. If we can, can I go back on my question? Where is it? If I could work with anyone, I want Dolly Parton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you only just noticed? <laughs> Sorry, ADHD kicking in. <laughs> I thought you were looking for the One Direction poster that might be on the wall. Like, and uh, there they are. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you can They're see. Not there. <laughs> yeah, like, some got all these really cool pictures of rock stars and stuff here. But if you pull one down, it's like BTS. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> BTS, they're a Korean uh, oh, band. Yeah. Like they are, I think BTS yeah. are pretty much like the biggest yeah. boy band, aren't they, at the moment? They're not Lady Rage. They're just all Rage. <sighs> but when you guys do your like live show challenges or your pub pop quizzes, do you find that those get more views? I think yeah. it, it just depends <laughs> on what I do afterwards with the show because <laughs> if I promote it, you can tell which ones I've bothered promoting and which ones I haven't yeah uh, now I kind of make it a rule to just uh do the thing I do with the promotion because the last one's got loads of views now yeah um so I don't think it really matters too much about the content it's just whether or not I post it off totally yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, I just had to throw the Canadian A in there yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, we're all about that you know <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> um, do you guys plan on continuing like continuing to do your live facebook shows of your gigs yeah yes. we've always done that yeah and i think yeah. we will well, yeah so good. that's that's really awesome for us folks you know on yeah the other side of the earth that Yay! Yeah, it's um, we, we know that we've got people who do want to see us, but for whatever, whatever reason can't. So we are pushing it a minute. Yeah. <laughs> like when you guys all go on tour, do you have like a tour van or a, like a bus you can go on? Or a... More of piling in the back of someone's car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day that we'll have the double decker tour bus, you know, oh, the proper oh, kind. Yeah. Of like Late bed. Bed. Side. Yeah. <laughs> With all your faces all rocking out. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, that's how we'll arrive into each town. It's us standing on the roof being like, Yo! yeah, <laughs> we've arrived. <laughs> Throwing up out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, that's the next plan. Jacuzzi <laughs> in the back. Oh, God, yeah, that's like amazing. Like Motley Crue used to do. Yeah. Yep. That's the dream. Yeah. God, it's the dream. So yeah. did you guys have new music coming out that you're working on? Um, we've got new songs. Yeah. We've yeah. Played 
and the gig just gone we played all the new ones yeah um, most of that set was actually new which was quite cool um, yeah yeah we've got three old ones and the four new ones mm. and um yeah i'm gonna write another one yeah i'm cooking up a new one so cool. um, we'll definitely look out for those yeah well, well productive <laughs> yes <laughs> Depends how productive we are. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys are too busy uh, booking gigs now, so. <laughs> yeah, it's nice getting back into gigs because I didn't realise, like, how many we've already got booked for this year. So it's, it's just going through my diary and I was like, hey, I've got a gig then. We've got one then. We've got one then. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, at least keep them busy. Yeah. Did you find at your first gig that lots of people came out and they were just willing, they were ready to dance. They were like, woo, we can be there. Well, the first. Oh, yeah, your restrictions aren't up yet. Yeah. The last gig we played, the football just been on, so there was like loads of football fans at this pub that we were playing at. And I was like, fuck, it's going to be really bad. But yeah. it was actually all right. We were a bit worried that maybe like football fans probably wouldn't be like, what's well, this? Like a bunch of angry girls. <laughs> but actually, people did seem to enjoy it. So it was just like, yay, hello! <laughs> and Dave wants to know if you have any questions for us. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Favorite cocktail. <laughs> Favorite cocktail. Spice rum and coke. Nice. <laughs> Caesars. Minus the Caesars. Caesars. Yeah. Like uh, vodka. They call them Bloody Mary. No, that's not um, the um, is completely different than Bloody. Isn't that the same thing? No. <laughs> we don't have any more questions for you. We ran out of questions. He's alive. He's alive. Yay! Thank God. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um, I'm... Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yes. thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's cool. Cool. <laughs> it's probably the bullet. Yeah, I, just, I, I, I came up with that idea this morning, so I, I hope it was as entertaining as I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I, I hope you guys had a, a halfway okay time. Yeah, it was a great time. It was really fun to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Yes, it was to meet you both. And I hope that someday we can meet in the future and you come play here in Edmonton and around. That'd be cool. And you can crash at our place. Oh, thank you. All right. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thank you guys so much. Yeah.